we will discuss about in this lecture we will discuss about experiments a workspace consists of experiments an experiment consists of several runs and a run would consist of different metrics and the metrics has a name and a value and a run also has got different logs to demonstrate this concept we will use a workspace that we have already created the wsag workspace we already did some experiments and you can see that within an experiment we have some runs out here which are completed we have in the workspace two different experiments and also we have a run associated with it so what we said was that a run will have metrics which we can see out here which we will see out here and i want to demonstrate one thing is that say for this run out here you have different types of metrics so here you have a metric which is a kind of a data frame kind of thing here is here is see that it is having only observations and you can also see that the run can also have an image the run has logs as we have discussed so these are the logs that you are having and we can see more logs in the run too which you can see out here these are the different logs so this is has already been done but we will demonstrate it with an experiment by running certain code so the first step is connecting to the workspace which we will do by using the config.json file which we are finding it from here which is the config.json file and now what we are doing is that we are running an experiment we are doing an experiment which is used with experiment and having a workspace name we are logging with experiment dot start logging which is out here let's run it once more and while it is running so what we will see that this is a different run and previously what we had was that if you go down here you see that two runs had been completed this is this is running so once it completes we can find the different metrics out here so this is completed so let's we refresh it and once you refresh it you can find that these are the metrics which are there so you see the type of the metrics it's a table it's a table it's a table and then you have a list which is out here and then there is an image and then there is a scalar value which is here so what we are doing is that when you are logging it you can log it with the name and the and the value you can log an image also you can log a list with the run dot log list you can run a table using each row and each row is logged with run dot log row similarly you can upload a file also to the run using the run dot upload file and what are we doing it is a sample dot csv so if you go down here and if you see the outputs you can go here and you can see the sample dot csv in the output also you see the image which is the result of run dot log image which is out here so what have we learned from this we have learned that one experiment can have different runs and we can log using a name and a value we can log an image using log image we can log a list with using log list we can log a row with using log row and you can upload a file using run dot upload file and you can complete a run what you can do also is that you can use a view dot run details using the run dot show 
you can also retrieve the experiment details not only by visiting the workspace down here but also with the SDK. So given the run you can get the metrics by run.getmetrics. You can get the output files by using run.getfilenames. So here you can get all the metrics that has been there. So you see that there is the observations which is here, the label distribution which is an image which is here, the pregnancy categories which is a list and all these other ones are the rows that we have logged and it is being listed as a table. And the files are also shown here using output slash sample CV. Similarly, we can download the files using run.download files. So we can download the files here. We can get the logs with run.get details with logs. Now another thing that we can do is that we can run an experiment script. Here it is very simple in the sense that we copy the data to the experiment folder. We run a Python script here and the Python script is written down here and the steps are we will get the experiment run context using run.get context. Similarly, we can do a run.log with the name of the metric and the value which is a row count. We can also log the different counts by run.log and we can also save a sample of the data in the outputs folder. So let's run it and we can see how it is run. So we have created the script and now what we need to do is that we have to use a script run config. Okay, the script run config requires an environment file which is in the environment.yml. The script.run config has a source directory, a script and an environment file and then we submit the experiment. So while this is running we can also get the also get the metrics in a similar way the run.get metrics and you can also get the run.get details with logs. So you see that we are we have completed another run. If you go here experiments and this is experiment and this is the last run and in it we have the same thing but it is run with a script config. So we have all the metrics the same metrics as before. We have got all the images. We didn't log an image so we don't find an image here. The outputs and the logs are here so the logs are the same and the outputs also we have logged with sample.csv. So this is it about using the script config. We can download the files using run.get logs. We can view the experiment history using the get runs to get the runs and for each run we can get the metrics and for each metric we can get the key as well as the value. Now there is another part in which we can perform the same thing using MLflow. What is MLflow? MLflow is an open source platform for managing machine learning processes. It's commonly but not exclusively used in Databricks environments to coordinate experiments and track metrics. In Azure machine learning experiments, we can use MLflow to track metrics as an alternative to the native log functionality. 
for that we need to use the azure ml ml flow package i have already installed it so you can install using pip install azure ml ml flow you can use ml flow with an inline experiment as we have done before but for that you have to get the workspace uri using the ws get ml flow tracking uri you have to get a uh, you have to set the experiment using the experiment name and once you get the experiment name you can start an ex run using start run and once you have started the run you can log the metric using log metric so let's do it since i have installed ml flow i will not run these commands but i will just use ml flow with this cell so let it run and okay the run completes very easily i can go back to my workspace and see whether it has completed or not so i go to this experiment and it has got two runs and this is the most recent one that has completed so i can go here i can see the metrics which i have logged so the name of the metric is observations and the value is provided here similarly i can get the metrics logged during the run using the same code that is there that is experiment dot get runs and we can get the metrics and we can get the experiment url in a similar way we can use ml flow in an experiment script rather than in an ml file the steps are the same we will create the folder and get the data and then we will use ml flow dot start run and we will use ml flow dot log metric now we again use the same concept using the script run config which takes the source directory the script and the environment file and then we have an experiment which is there and from the experiment what we will do is that we will submit it using experiment dot submit to create a run so let it run for some time and uh, while it is running let me explain the other parts you can get the metrics using metrics uh, run dot get metrics and you can get the values of e each of the metrics using metrics uh, dot keys the name of the metric and the value of the metric so this completes the whole section about experiments in azure ml we have also demonstrated how we can use ml flow in azure ml experiments thank you hope you liked it bye